In this video, I'm going to show you the Excel skills for section 4.1, which is how to make discrete probability distributions and histograms in Excel. So for this video, we're going to look at the example of how would we make a probability distribution for the number of boys that you could have if you have four children. So let's just start by writing out the possible values for a random variable. The random variable represents all of the outcomes of the problem. So in this case, we're having four children and we're trying to figure out the number of boys. So the fewest number of boys we could have is zero. We could have no boys. Or we could have one boy, or two boys, or three boys, or four boys. These are all the possibilities. If you have four kids, you could have no boys, or four boys, or anywhere in between. But you can't have five boys if you have four kids, and you can't have one and a half boys. So you can have zero, one, two, three, or four boys. Well, let's list out the possibilities. So if you have zero boys, that means you have girls. That means your first is a girl, your second is a girl, your third is a girl, and your fourth is a girl. If you have one boy, the boy could be born first, and you can have some girls. Or you could have the boy be born second, or third, or last. So those are the possibilities of having one boy if you have four kids. Now if you have two boys, you could have two boys first and then two girls. Or you could kind of go back and forth, or you could sandwich the girls in the middle. Or the girls could be born first. They could go back and forth the other way. Or the boys could be sandwiched in the middle. Then three boys means you have just one girl. So it's kind of the reverse of our second set of possibilities. It's kind of hard to think and talk and type all at the same time. All right. And then if we have four boys, that means we had boy, 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 boy. All right, so these are all the possibilities that come to mind readily. Let's just check and make sure that we have all of them. What we learned back in section 3.1, the size of our sample space is the number of outcomes in the first thing times the second thing times the third thing times the fourth thing. So in this case, when you have a child, it's a boy or a girl. So your first child, there's two possibilities. Then for your second child, it's a boy or a girl. So there's two possibilities. And then boy or girl for the third, and boy or girl for the fourth. So our total sample space should be 16. So let's just count, make sure we have 16 possibilities so that we know we have everything. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So we, do, we have all 16 possibilities. If we didn't, we would need to go back and figure out what we missed. Or if we had too many, we would need to go back and figure out what we did wrong. So making my chart... Let's see, we have our frequencies. So there was one, four, six, four, and one. So this tells us the number of ways we could do it. Now we want to find our probabilities. So there were 16 total possibilities. So that gives us a one out of 16 chance of having, actually let me use cell references, a one out of 16 chance of having zero boys. And then if I drag that down, tells us that we have a 4 out of 16 chance of having one boy, a 6 out of 16 chance of having two boys, a 4 out of 16 chance of having three boys, and then a 1 out of 16 chance of having all four boys. So let's check to make sure this is a valid probability distribution. The two conditions for a valid probability distribution is that all the probabilities are between 0 and 1, which they are, and that the sum of the probabilities is 1. So if I add up my probabilities, they sum to one, so this is a valid probability distribution, so we're good. All right, so to turn this into a histogram, this is very similar to what we did back in 2.1. We're gonna start off by highlighting our probabilities and then insert column chart. And then I'm gonna go out, go up and pick chart layout eight to make the bars touch. So down here we have number of boys. This represents our probability. And then this is we're having four kids. Again, your titles and labels can be a little bit different than mine, and that's okay. And then the last thing to notice is that our horizontal axis is wrong. This is counting one, two, three, four, five. We actually want it to be zero, one, two, three, and four. So just like last time, if we right click and go to select data, we can edit our horizontal axis labels and let's change them to the zero, one, two, three, four, so that we have a correct chart. So again, this is how we created a probability distribution for a discrete scenario and then turned it into a histogram.